There's some things I want to talk about later on that are more like broad topic things. There was one oh, that yeah, was like yeah, a, of course. a blast from the past that fucking blew out my ass. But I was Ooh. like, what the fuck? Interesting. So let's just let's just jump right into it. Let's just get yeah, right into well, this. Let's over. go for it. Uh, all right, let me get this pen out of the way. <sighs> all right. So for the first creature of Monster Month, we have the Yao Guai. Now, the Yao Guai we touched upon a little bit in one of our earlier episodes. We have shit about just creatures and monsters and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but they are a species of American black bear named by the descendants of Chinese internment camp survivors. Found in the Capital Waste, the Zion Canyon, the Island of Far Harbor, the Commonwealth, and in Appalachia. Uh, they are generally found alone, gentle, and they have a gentle and familiar bond towards other Yao Guai and will attack other animals or creatures on sight, except they seem to be friendly towards bloat flies. And there's nothing in the series so far. Oh no, there is the giant honeybee monster, isn't there? Yeah. So I wonder if they attack those, because I thought maybe bloat flies were just the closest thing to, to honeybees. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, well, these motherfuckers give us honey. We love that fucking honey. Also, I get all my lore off of the Fallout uh, dot fandom dot wiki. The Fallout wiki that's now. Uh, congratulations, guys. Nukipedia is now uh, with the vault. It's two separate things that have come together. So Yeah, they've merged. Um, yeah. They are lo large... Ursine, great fucking word, animals, zombie-like appearance, may be the ghoul equivalent to bears. Uh, unlike ghouls, they are not sterile because they have cubs. Now, there are variant variants of uh, Yao Guai. Um, there's the plain old Yao Guai that's found in Fallout 3, Honest Hearts, Fallout 4, and 76. They are common uh, as adults. There's Scavenger Yao Guai, which I do not remember ever seeing. I don't remember those. They are tamed and owned by scavengers for their companionship and protection. I don't ever remember seeing that. In what game? I In 3. Really? But I don't ever... It might be like I a DLC thing, but I, I was sitting there trying to think of like, where the Is fuck that like was a, point a scavenger bear? Thing? I think so, because there is a bear on... There's one... Uh, there's one Yao Guai on Point Lookout, or there's one unique on, on Point Lookout that's like... A, a, a Russian dancing bear, like a circus mm. bear. Um, there's a Yao Guai that's an Honest Hearts, just a regular one. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what else do I have? There's the Great Yao Guai, who's just a giant Yao Guai. A uh, big a stunned, old lad. Huge. Uh, a stunned one from 76, a shaggy one from 76 and Fallout 4, a scorched Yao Guai from 76. There's... Mm. I think this is Rizku, um, I don't know how to say this, I don't know if it's Russian or if it's Jap supposed to be Chinese, uh, Ruska, Ruska, a unique found in Point Lookout, that's the, the dancing, Ruska. yeah, the Russian bear. And then I like don't remember Point Lookout at all. I remember, um, I remember some of it, I remember the house exploding and exploring and it was really hard when I played it. Um, but it's one of those that I really want to go back and re-experience because I remember yeah. being fucking awesome. I think it was like the first DLC that I ever played. So it just kind of got like shuffled into the back of my memory. Really? Like, I just kind of remember like the murky atmosphere and the mm -hmm. like the, the hicks that you had to kill. I think it was the last one I played. I just like don't remember anything about it. Cause I remember I only had point lookout the pit or no, I'm sorry. I had the pit anchorage and broken steel and i didn't buy the two others and kyle gave me his like game of the year copy mm -hmm. and because i think he sold his fallout 3 and then bought a bought a like a used game of the year one which had, which had all the dlc on it so he's like yeah. hey it's a separate disc download this into your xbox and i'm like oh, all right cool yeah, so, so that I way downloaded. you got zeta yeah and i did zeta first because i was like aliens 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 because of course aliens are fucking cool space is awesome <laughs> yeah uh, there's also the Ghost of She. Uh, it's in Z Zion Canyon. It's a great size, and it's on fire, and it makes copies of itself. Yeah, I remember that one. I don't. <laughs> you would think I would. Um, I mean, you ooh. you didn't do a lot of the New Vegas DLC, so I didn't. I did one. 
Yeah. So that's why I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been I haven't played New Vegas in a while. I've been working on a lot of shit. Um there's Yeah, you've got a lot of projects going on. There's the Son of Fluffy, which is just fucking here's another reason why seventy six just kind of like it doesn't. I don't feel like it takes its fans very seriously. Mm. The son of a bear that was experimented on before the Great War by Doctor Frank. Doctor Frank, what? Doctor like, Frank. Like, like whose last name is Frank? Lisa. <laughs> I never thought I would ever hear a fucking Lisa Frank reference. Well, here we are. I never thought I'd ever hear this. <laughs> um, yeah, Dr. Frank, he's encountered in the Wild Appalachia expansion. Hmm. Uh, in Mandarin, the Yao Guai translates as monster or demon. In Chinese mythology, a Yao Guai are usually physical manifestation of spirits of mistreated animals or fallen divine beasts or divine animals. Ah, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, there's one other thing. I thought I had it written down, but I don't. So let me jump onto the Johnson. There are Yao. There's Yao Guai. Or there's hold on a second. In Fallout Four, there's Yao Guai, Sun Yao Guai, Shaggy Yao Guai, Glowing Albino, Rabid, and Dusky. That is a lot of Yao Guai. Along with Ghoul and Irradiated. And. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got all of the types. That's a shit ton. Yeah, there's a lot, and I think they're really, really cool because I just think just and bear. Yeah, I mean, of course, and bear. Uh, I just think bears are cool ass animals. Uh, and I think my one favorite that's on fire. My favorite is probably the ghoulish yaguai. I've never I'm, seen one in uh, Fallout Four when I first got it, and it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, do you ever notice that about Bethesda games, that the bear is always, like, way more challenging than anything else in the game? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, like, I remember playing Skyrim, being like, oh, I can kill dragons, no problem, but bears, ooh, that I'm scared Ooh, of. fuck, yeah. I think that's everything, you want to say anything? Um, no, I'm just excited about um, exploring more monsters this month, I'm gonna have, like, a custom thumbnail, and, like, I'm going all music? out for Halloween. Um, I'm still searching for the right one. But there will uh, be some some music. Our boy Shanathan Iverson. Yes. Guys, let me know what you think about the microphone being here. Um, it's on cam now. It's not a lot. I think it's kind of cool how it's like in the center. Uh, it helps me kind of frame out the shot a little better, I, I guess. Mine's off um, to the side. Yeah, I want to know what it because because I was noticing that our, our mic pickups were a little weird, and last episode I had a lot of trouble with the audio. Um, and I think that's really interesting, because when I was going through it um, on my pass, it sounded mm -hmm. fine. Really? Yeah, it sounded completely fine. Maybe I'm just being a fucking perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, one part that was weird, because I had my audio source doubled for the piano. Yeah, but that and was... And like, nothing you could do about that, yeah. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, I mean, Yaogwai are obviously, like, they're a cool animal. There's one that... It's, I like that when you do like a, what is it? Like a friendly build. If you take mm. the animal friend perk at yeah. like the, the highest level, you just can go up and just like pet the Yaogwai and just like chill. Like they're not going to fuck with you. I've never taken that perk. Really? No, because I, I thought like by time I hit max level, I, the only animal that's going to be a problem really, or max level in the sense of like 50th, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Even if you can continue to level. I saw somebody was level 1,470 something or something like that on 76. Jeez. 1,400. That's a lot of level. Yeah. Um, that dude's like, I bought, I buy one game every five years. This better count. This better last. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. It was always like the only animal I, I pretty much will ever have to worry about is a death claw, and I don't know if it takes care of death claws or not. And I said, even if it does, I don't think it does. I don't think yeah. any friend takes care of death claws. Yeah, so I, I would venture as far as to say maybe my alert queens, but maybe they're a little tough. Yeah, I mean by level fifty, the my alert kings ain't shit, but the queens are kind of tough. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's everything yeah. I have on on, on the lore. 
Coco. 